Welcome back to this part of the Portrait Basics. We already talk about the guidelines for dividing the vertical space of the face. Today we're going to talk about how we divide the space for eyes. Let's take a look. Let's say the face is about this wide. When I was about probably five or six years old, my father brought me to meet our art teachers in China. And they told me that from the left side of the face to the right side of the face, you can divide it into five eyes. How they are going to apply to yourself and how they are going to apply to the friends that you have. What he told me that if you divide this into five, one, two, three, four, five, and the middle is still a little bit too much. I'm going to move it a little over here. That's good. That is only applied to if the person straight facing to you. If you turn the face to the left and turn the face to the right, it's not going to be the same. The two eyes were sitting right in this two spot. Like that. And if you have a double eyelid, you add another eyelid on the top. Right now, we're not talking about how to draw the eye, about the relationship of the space. Right? So this is side of the face, this side of the face, and the ear is on the outside. But however, it's not everyone have that much space from the corner of the eye to the edge of the face. Let's take a look at some of the photo references of my friends so we can find out how these rules can apply to them. Let's take a look. The space between two eyes is just like the space of one eye. But however, from the corner of the eye and moving the outside, that is just not the full eye. For her, uh, the corner of the eye the, to the edge is only about a little bit more than half of the eye width. Oh, let's take a look at another one. There's the eye. Move it. The middle of the eye is correct. Now I'm going to move it outside from the corner of the eye to the outside. It's only the same. It's about a little bit more than half of the eye. Let's take a look at him. Between the middle of the eye and the space, a little bit more than one eye of the space. From the corner of the eye to the outside, it's almost you can include the ears in order to have that equal space. That's not always. It's the space between the two eyes is for most of the people, it goes to one eye space. From the corner of the outside eye to the side of the face, it's not always, it goes to one eye. For some of you, it goes to half of the, the eye space. So take a photo of yourself and print it out or measure it on your computer, on your phone screen, and to see how is your proportion look like. This is the end of this part of Portrait Basics. I hope this is helpful to you in your learning. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and also share it with a friend. See you in the next part of Portrait Basics. I'm Yong Chen.